Hi there guys. As you guys can see, the Mavic Air is now on the ground and I've enabled active mode on the sport mode switch. So if I'm in tripod mode, cine mode, I can switch over to normal mode and I can switch over to active mode or sport mode essentially. As you can see, it's now called in mode and doesn't take off anything else. If I go back to normal mode, I can take off. Take off. And the drone's going to hover. As you can see, our home point has now been recorded. And if I switch over to active mode, it goes into active mode and the drone starts drifting. If I switch it back to normal mode, it immediately gets and goes into a lock state again. So that shows you that active mode is working on the Air 2 by enabling the sport mode switch. And you can switch back into non-GPS mode and GPS mode just by switching the button. This is a pretty awesome feature. Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to take a look at how to enable active mode on your DJI drone. Okay, so in this case you guys can see that uh, I've got the Drone Hacks website open in front of me. Simply just go to drone-hacks.com and you're going to click on the download button. Before we proceed and you guys are getting worried about having to pay for something, with the Drone Hacks you only need to pay if you want to remove the no-fly zones, the altitude limits and increase your range by enabling FCC. If you just want to change the parameters or flash firmware, then it's a free tool to use. Let's just get that clear and straight from the start. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to go on DJI. I'm going to see what version I've got available. The newest version is available right there. It's for Windows 10 or newer. And you're going to click on the little download link and it'll start the download machine. Now, I've already downloaded the app. So once you've downloaded it, you can simply just open it up. And while it's opening up, you might as well turn on your drone. Here we go, let's turn it on. Just give it a second. There we go. And you'll see that obviously the PC is going to start detecting the drone by it popping up, like you can see over here. Now, you will have to have a DroneX account. You can create one on the site, but if you do not have one, you can see the device has connected and I'm now able to view the details. So you've got to have a DroneX account. If you don't, just create one on the site. It's completely free. Um, and you can just simply take it from there. Once you've logged into the application, you can see that it's got a bunch of options available for you. In this case, you can see my firmware version of currently on. The recommended firmware over here is if you want to remove the low fly zones and so forth. And if you want to enable the mods, you can click on that one once you've purchased a license. Now, if I want to flash the firmware, I can click on the flash original firmware options. And there's a link to Dank Drone Downloader where you can download basically any firmware you want and you can flash to it. Please remember that DJI does include anti-rollback versions of their firmware, meaning that they block you to downgrade certain versions. And you would need to have a drone hacks license if you would like to downgrade anti-rollback firmware. Okay, but in this case, we are taking a look at hacking parameters. In this case, I'm going to click on hack parameters and it is going to take me through to the parameter page where you can set a bunch of options for your drone. So you can see the default for the Air 2 is fully maxed already. Um, that's the default. You can't make any changes there. So you can't make it much faster than it currently is. But if you click on advanced parameters, you can take a look at any of the parameters that are available on the platform, on the machine, and you can change this. But please remember, you are changing this at your own risk. Okay, if you don't know what you're doing, please don't mess around here. But if you want to have active mode, you can just, uh, I've got a control mode over here. Let me just remove a few things in my search. Let me just do control, control. And you're gonna see you're gonna have a bunch of values over here. Okay, so I wanna change the control mode of only my sport mode switch. But in this case, we've made sure that it is mode one and the value you need to change is from eight to three. So the default is eight. And if you want, so this is not just normal sport mode. And if you want to enable atti mode on the sport mode switch, then you're just going to drag it down to number three. In this case, mine is already enabled on number three. So meaning my atti mode is already my sport mode or sport mode is already atti mode. So I'm just going to put it back to uh, normal sport mode, click save parameter, and then you can close this and then you'll click on right parameter to drone. Now this is the case if you want to enable the feature. If you just want to mess around, take a look at the settings, nothing will take effect until you click right parameter to drone. So don't be worried that you're going to mess something up, break something. Only if you click on right parameters does it take effect. And if you screwed it up, you can always click on restore default. Essentially, it's going to write the default values to the drone, meaning that I've now restored back to factory settings. Okay, so once again, if I want to go and change my sport mode 
to Etty mode, I can just type in control dot control, and you're going to see over here that I'm going to use mode one. I'm going to change the value from eight to three, click save parameter, close this, and then I'm going to click on the right parameter. Once you've done this, you can confirm that it is working by clicking back on the advanced parameter option, typing control dot control. And you can see that the value is now a three over there instead of an eight. Okay, so that's effectively how you change sport mode into atti mode. Remember, whenever you want to go back to your original settings, you can simply just come drag it back, click save, and it's done. Or just simply click the reset uh, default parameter value options and then click right to drone and that'll be it.